this is me nancy welcome back to our brand new live tutorials thank you so much for tuning in for all the viewers facebook youtube and instagram i am so excited and so thrilled every single day i got an opportunity to share with you with great live tutorials so many is content every single day with new contents and it will hopefully help all beginner nail techs all the um nail arts lovers and for all of you who just tuning in or who just first time tuning in with us welcome welcome for all of you who's always tuning in with us from a day one and we hit 100,000 is this month is really really exciting exciting and we are so excited to have you all here and we want to every single live videos we always want to let you know that we, how much we appreciate you and how much we enjoy having you so let's get started with the video today this is the nail that we did yesterday if you miss it definitely check it out i did using our sponging our sponge head it's really easy simple for a lot of you are having a little bit troubleshooting check out so a lot of videos we did with this um sponge head and then you can create so many different background whether you're using any background using a blossom gel fusioning or is um a gel polish so check it out and with neon pigment i'm so obsessed with this look and i'm so excited to share with you so for this today i am going to do a couple of nails i saved two nails for you so then I can share with you. And then all I have is in the press on nails. And we're definitely going to do a tutorials doing a really simple press on. And I'm really hard on my nails, but the press on it stays solid. And I'm so excited. And please look forward to the newest update press on mystery treasure box. We say mystery, but we give you a lot of hints. So you know what you're having in there. And for value of $120, you are going to get is only $49.99 for a mystery treasure box. So you're going to see the new update coming. But I can sneak peeks a little bit later after we're done with the live video if we have time. So this is a stunning and easy. I did this videos for this set. This is like so many set I did because we have so many clients that in from the salons. Um, we at we... Um, we did so many sets like this and the clients get either those coffins, almonds, mostly coffins and almonds. And then um, it's really stunning though. It's so easy and it just takes no time to um, put it on, to press it on. So hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. Happy Friday and so excited to have you all here. So let's get started. So we're going to do this two nails. One, uh, the thumb and the index so give you some ideas for your is nail art as well as if you are doing your nails have fun if you are doing for your clients absolutely have fun it makes a lot of money okay so we just want to do it it's just so simple easy so then that way you can achieve so many different designs so many looks and you can able to price if you do for your clients you can able to price the the designs is accordingly all right, so here's a, some of the new looks I created for you. And I use a uh, transcended crystal kits. I'm going to show you. There's three of them. And I picked some of really cool designs. And this themes, I want to get some pink. But also, um, is this over there? Yeah. And it's also, i using frames and, of course, our Bahamas and ruby rose so you're gonna see all that designs and this is like uh i don't know what number is this but there's three set like this in ours it's when you're receiving it you pack you pack it uh we pack it like this for our purposes of shipping so then all of your crystals stay really nice and in one place so check that out there's four colors in here and i am absolutely obsessed with this uh, there's kids three and then kids two and then kids uh, one this is just like we pick it up from a warehouse so then we can show you but let me show you the kids that I have um, well it's moving around because I'm moving it but when you get it it's packed nice like this for the shipping purposes but here's one of the kits I have and I've been using a lot of this this is kids number two 
and there's so many beautiful crystal i don't know how long they're gonna take you but it's gonna last you a long time hey brazil how are you hey jack jack how are you thanks so much everyone for tuning in so i set two nails and just as you know this is a press on and i can't wait to share with you it's like concrete okay and it's so stunning and i am absolutely obsessed with this so there i will tell you purpose of this either whether you are doing it for the clients just want to get some press on which is this is like the the set already preset like this when we do but then when if you're taking a client's comments there's so many different uh, way you can take the clients doing appointment come in with you and do the set you already created and then if it's some of the nails that are not exact matching you can create it the rest of them but then you can still be able to chalk accordingly for your clients however save you a time from viewing a whole entire new set so this is another option to to um add it on your service okay so then that way you can able to um fulfill the clients so some clients just want to wear for one time only one two weeks then you are definitely can able to do that and offer the service and is absolutely shape everything for you i didn't have to shape anything at all it's already there so let's get started with this one and i'm going to show you a fire and eye sheet which is i have it right here it's so cool and stunning and also we are going to do some cute is uh 3d hands crafted flowers i have it here so let's get started we're gonna go ahead and using a premium chanfer foil gel so this is press on is clear and i did apply this one coat of it's no white top coat so this is like you don't need to remove any of the residues off um, and this is already have a little really adorable and gorgeous sparkle shiny hello go so i did one coat on it here for 60 seconds so now we're gonna doing it premium i hope chan for foil gel her greens yes so we will save all the life so if you want to look at some of our previous design there's always there so I'm going to do it right, let me hold this one, right here. All right. I'm at, where I'm at? Right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask really thin coat. All right. And gear for 30 seconds. Please look forward for the new excellent press on mystery treasure back uh treasure box for all of you who is either you can do uh the press on set itself for the clients they can take on vocation or they can keep it for themselves or you can even do it and offer to to do it on for the clients of course they're not gonna last like is your built-in quiz um uh, acrylics and velvety gels and dipping but it's also it's still really cool and it's solid and i'm so hard with my nails and it's not coming anyway thank you so much everyone 30 seconds all right so 30 seconds i have all my fine eye sheet cut it already really interesting Wait a minute. All right, right here. I'm holding it so then that way we have a good background for the nails. Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. Happy Friday. All right, so let's. I'm gonna just do one sums on my tips because I am going to add some crystal placements along with that it's really sticks on so and that's 12 color of fine eye sheet I am so excited stay right here so using the other end of the 
dual end tweezers wrap it so it stay on really nice you can add more on it as you wish i'm gonna leave it like that because i want to do my crystal placement right here all right so now go right in to our Ours um, condensed glue gels. And we are going to thin coat. You don't want to be too much. You don't want to be. I got it already here. So condensed glue gels is will be uh, the first step for crystal application. So we want to do condensed glue gel first, which is really awesome because you are not only to lay it down on first, but it also in cap my um, file and eye sheet. And doesn't matter whatever, I mean, what color, whatever colors you pick for your fine eye sheet is always stunning you have to check it out first i look at oh i don't care for the yellow oh i hate green i don't care much for green but then i put it on oh when it lay it on it just doesn't matter whatever colors you do it's just beautiful it's like it still look like like aurora you know it looks really cool though so it doesn't give you as uh, irritation of like pink purples uh blue it's always turn out like this so it's really um surprise me with that because i look at that when i cut it oh i don't care much for this it's so beautiful those but like oh i don't care for that so i'm gonna pick ab but actually this is give is really cool reflection of the color so um i am so excited with that because at first i have like oh i don't care for it but when i put oh it looks really cool though it's give a lot of more like um uh reflection so i'm um, looking for my you know what talk about it was moving somewhere all right so no wipe top coat don't forget to add it on before you put the crystal placements i'm gonna move the super cute tray here we are going to do that one and move up this one for my thumb different from this thumb and i'm not using this is mostly bahamas and um bahama crystal and also the ruby rose plus frame charms and also i using throughout the set i use um transcended crystal kit as well floating on the top of ankia condensed glue gels all right sorry i keep moving and i'm just want to make sure that my hand is where you can see can we can we see it all right it's really it's really interesting to do it for on your own nails and maybe i should do like that opposite so if you need to adjusting and moving your crystal easing on the other end dot two. And don't worry about if it's perfect on the spot yet. We are going to adjusting it. And then we'll add it to more of the smaller beads. So if this designs, I start from a top, which is from a cuticles area first. And then I go toward to the free edges. Add more Bahamas and Ruby Rose. 
Okay, how is everyone doing? Hope you have a fabulous Friday. And more. And then you can leave it like this or you can add more beads on as you wish, as you prefer. However you like. Hey Facebook, hi Instagram, hi YouTube viewers, if you are viewing it, thank you, thank you. And welcome to our live tutorials every single day, except Sunday. Sometimes you see me on Sunday as well. I'm going to add some beads on this. You don't have to if your clients want to get a little bit more fancier, absolutely, if you don't want to. Can just leave it alone. It's a little bit different when you're doing your own nails. Um, it's fun though. I have to say honest, be honest. It's funny. Hold on. Where I'm at, I'm good. Mm. I was like, wait a minute. Am I on the camera, off camera? All right. So when you need to move and adjusting everything you wanted it, just use your um, your dual end picker. And then this one right there. Oh, sorry, I hit camera. It's upside down on my nails. I mean, for me to look at upside down, so I'm going to have to look at it both way and make sure that it's not crooked. It's not missing any spot. Supposed to go where it's supposed to go right here, you know. Let me go back into that way. Go that way. There you go. Can we move? We just move this one down. There you go. There you go. And keep adding on until you satisfy. If you like more beads, add some more on. If you don't want, just leave it as just the crystals only. I think I got it all. I get one, two, one right here. Much better. <laughs> After we're done with the nails, here, put it in here. Much better. All right. So if you're happy with this, what we need to do is just really simple. Just really like adjusting. is a best thing about condensed glue gels and no wipe top coat to give you a flexible time and ability of you can adjusting your crystal however you want. You don't be like shocked that, oh my gosh, I just land it there and it just set. 
Uh, it will not set until you clear under the LED lights. So you have plenty of time to adjust and move your crystal, tighten it together. Um, the closer your crystal together, um, the better it will last. I mean, they sticks and they bond really concrete together. So then uh, that is one of the cool secret secrets and tip and tricks to keep your crystal is last so much longer. All right, happy with what we're doing. We are going to cure. It's so gorgeous. All right, so I'm going. Go ahead and cure under LED lights for 60 seconds. I just want to make sure this is not crooked in any way. Except what I want. And here's my other thumb. And here's a set. So I hope it's give you some inspirations with the crystal placement if you are doing it for your nails or you are creating a press on set or you are doing it for your clients. However, you give and then with next nails, we're gonna do this super cute 3D handcrafted flowers. Thank you. Likey? Likey? Likey Zima, I think. Thank you so much. No? Alright, so move on to the next one. No, I can't keep this. It's gonna be really, no, it's really. Back to this. Mm hmm Get yeah, whole whole things. I need a whole tray. That I can lean on. Uh -huh. And Alice should ask you how much do you price that? For this nails? For this nails, Al Alice, right? Ali. Um so, so this nails is really pan. So just talking about um just the just the designs only. If you are doing just a crystal placements only you can price this between because you have one big centerpiece you can start this one with 12 to 15 dollars for your crystal placement because you have all the beads and the frame not including yours is a fine eye sheet underneath if your fine eye sheet underneath you are going to add a little bit more on it five dollars well, if you can do this whole entire the designs for this is eighteen to twenty dollars, so it's about fair for you and your clients. Oh my gosh, you will love it, Brazil! This the uh, shimmer coat it just does everything. Thank you so much, everyone. So you want to see this one with the fine eye sheet again, or no fine eye sheet? It's cool though, huh? I didn't even think. I said, oh, this the tips a little bit feel like plain. Trendy, but finite sheet is also cute though. Finite sheet, yes or no? Okay, so let's do a finite sheet on this one, yeah, to make it something cool. You know what I'm gonna do? Maybe finite sheet underneath because I'm making it's gonna be, you know what, Kaden? gonna buy you okay thank you Jack Jack no sheet crystal <laughs> okay all right so we're gonna do just crystal on just flowers in the crystal only yeah Ah, thank you so much, Brazil. Crystal only. Crystal and flowers. So then we'll do crystal and flowers. And we have one nails with a fine eye sheet already. So I'm happy. This is without a fine eye sheet. This one with the fine eye sheet. Right here. And I'm using this as a glitter hollow top coat. 
All right, so let's move on to the fine eye sheet. Not for a fine eye sheet, the so crystal placement and the 3D handcraft flowers. You need this, which is So if you missed this earlier zone, I did it's fine eye sheets beside this uh, video. Also, I have a lot of videos I did it before. So check that out when you have a spare moment. And then I am going to use condensed glue gels. And that lines all and tie the nails because we are going to do 3D handcrafted flowers. Make sure you blend it. So then it's going to be um, blends really well and right there. And don't forget with no white top coat on the top. Uh, white tied it off. Okay, floating on the top. If you are having a little bit troubleshooting with your crystal placement, this is going to be your bestie, your condensed glue gels and no wipe top coat and precision glue gels. All right. I want these super cute flowers, but also I'm doing a little bit different flowers. <laughs> I'm gonna take that one, which is I like a lot. This is like kind of a freestyle with my 3D handcrafted flowers. So sometimes it gets confused for a lot of us who just start with a crystal placement. Don't worry. All you need to do is remember this one's really cool tip and trick. You start with the centerpiece first, which is your super cute centerpiece. Here is your 3D handcrafted flowers. And don't um, freak out because it will be really cool and it turned out exactly the way you want it. And sometimes it's going to be even like a better, more than you expecting. Just at um, the centerpiece and then you're working with the frames and add the frames along with that. I always add crystals on the edges of the frame because the frame would definitely is um, it locked your crystal in there and the crystal also locked the frames in the nails as well so then they all like uh, complement each other. Um, I'm gonna add it on. I'm loving this shape. So, oh my God, I have to have this shape on my nails. And then I'm gonna add some beads on. So you see how it's really simple and stunning it is, and you already created this really simple way. And this is a, um, one of the ways to do crystal placement, our thousands video that we are sharing with you, or we did share, we have shared with you. So check it out on Crocs, all the platforms, social media platform, we have it on Facebook, um, YouTube, and, in, uh, and Instagram.
I'm going to add some beads on. It is really cool though, you know, I think it's just a really cool inspired from, um, now I see, I will just recall that one of the design that Brazil's, one of Glitz, talented brand ambassador, she did, I think one of the nails that you did the other days is with this flower or something like that. It's really cool though. So much talent. And I, now I'm doing it and say, where is this one? I see similar from, from Brazil's. You feel like you want more, add more. I'm moving on this one right here. Okay, so if you're happy with this, we are going to cure for 60 seconds. I think I'm going to add one more frame. On this one okay good happy with this we're going to gear for 60 seconds Flower is stunning. Hey, Mama Vix, how are you? <coughs> Thanks so much, everyone. And here is the designs on this hand. Hey Dom, how are you? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so we're gonna go in and using precision glue gel to double secure all of this super beautiful flowers crystal placements let's do it like this better hold on there you go just seal it in and make sure you seal it on the top of the bead and frame to prevent from tarnish but you only need to do it around the edges of the crystal you don't want to cover on the top but on the frame and the charm yes you can do it on the top to prevent it And after we finish with two nails, we are going to cure for 60 seconds. And the nails will be done. And if you're all just tuning in, don't worry, I will save the video because you can see the cool, simple, fine eye sheet that I did. Each time you're going to squeeze and just a little bit squeeze out. You don't want to use too much. Just a little bit. Too much is going to flood your crystals. All right. Here. For 60 seconds. Here's a look. For 
of the nails. So this is a little bit too big. Let me move on just a second. And then you can add small crystal in here if you wish. Or you can just leave it there. And to see whole entire that episodes that I create this set, definitely check out our IGTV. I save all of them there from detail with Chantal Foy's and all of the um, design like this. I did it so then you can able to see it. So it's all safe on our IGTV. Check them out. And if you have also no sales at all so if you have any questions regarding to the product and special sales going on uh check out our uh, website official website glitzersessionsash.com and special big sales going on is all 5.99 stickers is one dollars right now it's all the products up to 80 percent to celebrate our 100,000 followers Special thanks to every single of you and uh, thank you, thank you for amazing love and support. Here's a thumbs and here's a set. You can able to add some more crystal here as you wish. If you want to, feel free to add some more like this. I mean, this one. I feel like a Nick is for this one. Thank you, Dom. Thank you, thank you. So don't forget to check out. It's very soon. You are going to see it's stunning, stunning. It's a set um, treasure bags, a treasure box for the press on nails. I'm so excited, and I can't wait to see you in the next live videos. Let me put the final looks here. All right. In the meantime, I'm gonna close this. Don't lose the red cap because you don't want to uh, spills or. Um, Clocking anything. Hold on. All right, let me show you the final looks for the nails. Okay. Here's a final look. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in. I'm looking forward to see you in the next live video. One second, this whole deal. And all the products are viable on the official website, Glitz Assessing and such. I will definitely, and also if you have any question regarding to the products, don't um, hesitate to DM us and our team will definitely going to assist you with any question you might have. And I will see you in the next live video. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a good Friday. I will see you in the next live. Bye.